Hey, how's it going? This is Chris, or Old Blue, or whatever. Um, this is the first piston-driven grinder. Now, what I've done is I've set up a three-floor standard grinder, so I'll just show you that quickly. I'm a moderator on uh, the Gunamati server, so I can use this uh, quick method of kind of going up here and straight through the wall. I'll do that again. Probably from a slightly better position that's not going to get me killed immediately. Ooh. Okay, so here you can see this is uh, our standard troughs. It's three of these set up in a 50 by 50 by 3. Monsters all pile down here and start eating face. All right, That's something that Fondue left. I'm going to have to destroy that later. It generates approximately zero pigs at the minute. Right, I'm going to go through here. Okay, now here we have a standard circuit with uh, three delay switches that drives a piston up and down. So, we've got the same on the other side, over here. And because it feeds in from a 3x3, three three, um, I've got cactus here just to drive them into a 2x2 two two instead or just kill them dead. Okay, so they drop into the kill box here, where because it's glass they occasionally leave bits because sometimes they die when they fall down. Other times some of them hit the cactus. It's a good way of getting some of the spiders sorted out. So after that they come down this boulevard here. Now here's the door. I can't go through it until I've activated the grinder or I will die. And then if I step in here you can see spider comes down, piston pushes it up, its head goes into the lava, it dies and then it drops its string. Same goes with the creeper or any other mob that comes down here. So this way, even though they're burning, they're not losing the loot, which they do if you use a pure fire blade kind of method, like we've got going on down here, yeah? So if I then knock out the block, you can see the loot just sitting there, zooming past. And then it drops down into here. Lovely. Okay, and when you're done, you just go over to your big chest of loot, and start dropping the stuff into it, like so. It takes about, mm, I'd say, 10-15 minutes perhaps to get 64 lovely TNT ingredients. Which isn't too bad. Generally I haven't got the patience to sit around waiting for this to happen, but uh, sometimes it's quite relaxing just to leave them in the background. So, again, at least three 50 by 50 drops come straight down here into this area, okay? The mobs come down, they get filtered out by this, because we can't have... Th well, you probably can't have three pistons working in a row. However, I find two a little bit easier. Now, I've got signposts up here, lava along the top. Pistons push the mobs into the lava. They die, fall down here. Any that make it through will be killed by the lava blade at the bottom. And then jump down here and help myself to delicious loot. Easy as that.